Ganesh Ayer, Chief Executive Officer of Emphasis, joins us from Bangalore. Ganesh, good morning and thank you for joining us. Ganesh, despite numerous efforts uh, of, on the revenue side, on the margin side and on the profit side, uh, all you have managed to report is a sequential decline for the third quarter in a row. Markets are disturbed uh, and markets are curious and they want to understand how long is transformation going to weigh on your performance. So let's talk about the profit performance first. The best way to assess uh, services business uh, profitability is to look at uh, gross margin. Now if you look at gross margin and you compare our uh, performance this quarter and you compare it with the same quarter for the last two years, you would see consistently our gross margin is improving. And that gives us tremendous satisfaction because that is part of our transformation to focus on services business which is going to be uh, around innovation, automation, and high quality services. And so in that sense, we are clearly on track. Now, talking about, uh, uh, you know, profits the way street looks at it or the media looks at it, you focus on net profit. There is a significant amount of variation between gross profit and net profit because investment in sales and marketing is critical. And last but not least, you also need to worry about the changing tax rates. So hence, uh, I would advise to focus on gross margin and then you would see that our gross margins are improving. Mm. So looking at your business mix, the ratio of direct business to HP business has improved favorably over the last one year. Give us a sense of the traction you are seeing in the direct channel in uh, mature as well as emerging markets and how does the deal pipeline stand here? Actually, the um, uh, pipeline is very, very exciting, very vibrant, but it is different. And that you would see it in the industry, slowly people are beginning to talk about it and we have been screaming at the top of our voice for quite some time saying that the IT services business in its current form is, will cease to exist in years to come. And uh, now you are seeing that across the board. And what we are seeing is a very vibrant pipeline that is actually enabled because we have been focused on select industries, select customers. We have been building our competency around new generation services, especially around analytics, data, and we are increasingly focused on digital because these are the things which will fuel the growth in future. Initially, they will be small, and the fundamental shift in how services are procured and consumed uh, will change the very nature of, of IT services industry. Ganesh, you have a cash and cash equivalent of nearly 2600 crore. What is the cash utilization strategy and investment roadmap to drive channel growth which is poised for strong ramp ups essentially to overcome challenges uh, which uh, Emphasis currently is experiencing or has faced in other areas? So I would highlight three areas which we are absolutely focused on. First one is sharing our uh, wealth with our shareholders. We will continue to look at ways and means of sharing that wealth with our shareholders where the cash will be deployed. The second area which uh, we are focused on is looking at inorganic. Inorganic will focus on a services business which is a bit more future looking. Uh, emerging services in the uh, industries that we are focused on. That would be the second utilization. Third area that uh, we will continue to invest is in sales and marketing. Kanesh, NASCOM has predicted a growth of 13 to 15% in FI15. Uh, considering the cautious commentary from TCS as well as Infosys in the last two weeks, is the optimism overdone with respect to the demand environment according to you? Yeah, I mean, uh, this uh, discussion around averages is always very interesting because ultimately averages don't matter. It is about what you do with your customers. So do I subscribe to um, NASCOM's uh, uh, projection? Uh, I have never subscribed to NASCOM's projection because ultimately it is NASCOM basically takes the data from all the companies. They do a survey of customers and they arrive at a projection. So, uh, you know, projection is as good as the weather forecast. Can you give us an update on the recent induction of senior management and uh, senior management members and what is the role and the mandate uh, being given to them? See, actually, um, it's not just senior management. It is also about uh, hiring people who are highly specialized. Uh, we are on a mission to induct people 
who have demonstrated ability, track record of building businesses, building businesses in the face of transformation. Uh, we are hiring very, very senior delivery come business leaders because increasingly the line between uh, delivery and business will start blurring. We need such people. We have uh, added something like uh, 10 people in the last four months who are at senior level. Um, there is, uh, they are, these people come here because uh, they buy into our vision, they buy into our transformation story, they buy into we being small, nimble, agile, and uh, wanting to do, uh, you know, ridiculous things. And that's what brings them here. And, uh, and uh, so we are excited about having them in our family and we'll continue to strive to bring that renewed value proposition to the market and, uh, and do business in a very different fashion. That's what we are here to do.